Emily, and today we're going to learn how to ride a unicycle. What is a unicycle? Many people have probably heard of a bicycle or a tricycle, but some people may not have heard of a unicycle before. To help us understand what it is, let's look at these three words, tricycle, bicycle, and unicycle. In the word tricycle, the beginning part of the word tri means three, while the ending of the word cycle means wheel. A tricycle has three wheels. In the word bicycle, bi means two, while cycle once again means wheel. A bicycle has two wheels. You might have already guessed it. In the word unicycle, uni means one, and once again, cycle means wheel. A unicycle has just one wheel. A unicycle usually looks something like the picture shown here. Let's get started. First, let's go over what we need to do before we can try unicycling. Step one, choose a unicycle that is the right size. There are different sizes of unicycles, so it is important to remember to find the one that is right for you. For children, it is best to choose a smaller wheel. Either two of these smaller sizes might work. To figure out what unicycle will fit you, you need to stand the unicycle next to you. The seat of the unicycle should sit right by your hip. The next test for size is to sit on the unicycle and look at your leg that is on the lower pedal. This leg should reach comfortably to the pedal without having to stretch and without being too bent. If the unicycle doesn't fit, have an adult raise or lower the seat for you in order to make it just right. Step 2. Wear appropriate clothes and safety equipment. It is important to stay safe while unicycling. You can help protect yourself by wearing appropriate clothes and safety equipment. When unicycling, you need to wear closed-toed shoes to keep your feet safe. Don't wear sandals and don't unicycle barefoot. Make sure your shoelaces are tied and if they are longer laces, tuck them in so they do not get caught on the unicycle. You should also wear long pants, or if you don't have long pants on, wear knee pads to protect your knees. When learning to unicycle, it is good to wear hand pads and a helmet to keep your hands and head safe. Step 3. Learn how to correctly get on the unicycle. First of all, when learning to unicycle, it is easiest to put the wheel of the unicycle up against a block or a stair when you are getting on. As you put the wheel here, look at the pedals and line them up so they are at a 45 degree angle. This means that the pedals shouldn't be straight down or straight to the side but they should be right in the middle. The foot that you want to step on first needs to go on the pedal that is closer to you and lower to the ground. After you put this foot on, put the other foot on and stand on the unicycle for a while to get comfortable with how it feels. Don't put your foot on the higher pedal first or the wheel will start to roll away. Step four, learn the different ways of learning to ride. There is more than one way to learn how to ride. Some basic ways of learning to ride are by using a wall or fence, using a friend or adult to help you, or riding without holding on to anything. When you are learning to ride with a wall or a fence, lean onto it and walk with your hands along it while slowly pedaling with your feet. When you are learning to ride with a friend or an adult, make sure your friend is old enough that neither of you will get hurt. Hold on to an arm of your friend to help you balance as you ride alongside of them. When you are learning to ride without holding on to anything, use your arms for balance. Putting your arms out to your sides is usually easiest. Keep in mind, while learning to unicycle, you are going to fall. Remember to fall safely. Step 5. Learn how to fall off safely. Learning to unicycle takes practice, and you won't know how to do it right away. While you are learning, you will fall off the unicycle. Your unicycle is meant to be dropped and fall on the ground sometimes, but we don't want you to fall on the ground. Whenever you are about to fall, try to walk off the unicycle. Let the unicycle fall behind you or in front of you. Don't try to catch it. This way you can concentrate on keeping yourself safe. Let it fall and then you can pick it up. After you gain more control, you can try to get off the unicycle without letting it fall. You do this by stepping back off the unicycle while holding on to the front of the seat. Step six, remember, don't give up. Unicycling takes time to learn just like learning other things such as riding a bike. Don't get too frustrated when you keep on falling off. This is part of the learning process. Your body is learning a new way of balancing. 
you are learning to balance on one wheel instead of walking on two feet. This is an incredible task, so you will need to keep practicing. Keep practicing, keep practicing, and don't give up. Let's review what we learned in this video. We learned that tri means three and a tricycle has three wheels. Bi means two and a bicycle has two wheels. Uni means one and a unicycle has one wheel. We also learned six things that we needed to know before starting to unicycle. Those things were to choose a unicycle that is the right size, wear appropriate clothes and safety equipment, learn how to correctly get on the unicycle, learn the different ways of learning to ride, learn how to fall off safely, and to remember, don't give up. Thanks for watching. Now it's time for you to start learning how to ride a unicycle.